have you ever been out bushwalking and felt like someone was following you? We might not have lions and tigers in Australia, but we absolutely do have an animal that hunts humans. It uses our movement, our body heat, and possibly even our breathing to stalk us. And I've come out tonight to track it down by letting it find me. animal's favourite habitat, a wet rainforest on Australia's east coast after dark when it's most active and I'm going to be using myself as bait. Yeah, here's one now. You might recognise this slimy little dude as a leech. The majority of leeches live underwater but Australia is a hot spot for the species that live on land. Lucky us, you're probably thinking, but I'm gonna try to convince you that we are pretty lucky because these little vampires are actually kind of awesome. Leeches are closely related to earthworms. They're both segmented worms in the phylum Annelida, but while our friendly garden worms help us by munching on our compost, leeches have a taste for live animals. If you were at a barbecue with a land leech and you offered it a plate of sausages, it'd be like, oh, no thanks, I'm sanguivorous. And I hope this situation never comes up for you, but if it does, you'll need to know that a sanguivore feeds on blood. And many species of land leech prefer to feed on mammals. And well, that includes us. Leeches will often sit in ambush on low leaves and sucker onto you as you brush past them, but they can also actively hunt. They're covered in receptors that pick up temperature, vibration, smell, and some even have multiple pairs of eyes for sensing light. It's possible they can even detect the carbon dioxide in our breath. This one is hunting me now. It has suckers on both ends and walks a lot like a caterpillar. It moves towards me in a stop-start motion, pausing to wave its little hat around and sense where I am. Sometimes it stops completely and stands straight up in the air for a while before continuing the hunt. It's dinner time. Let's take a look at how they feed. These guys either have two or three tooth jaws and once they've used their front sucker to latch on, they bite through the skin and inject an anticoagulant called heridin, which prevents your blood from clotting. Once they're feeding, they can take in several times their own body weight in blood, but fortunately they don't weigh much. After about 20 minutes or so, they'll be full up and they'll drop off to find somewhere to hide and digest. After a good meal, they may not need to eat again for several months. That is a big food baby. You've probably heard that if you get a leech on you, you should use salt or a fire to get it off. But actually, unless you have an allergy, it's a lot easier to just let the leech finish feeding and it will drop off on its own. If you do need to get the little guy off, you can just very gently nudge your fingernail underneath and encourage it to let go. Because of the anticoagulant, the bite can keep bleeding lightly for a few hours. So allergies aside, Usually the worst case scenario for an encounter with a leech is that you're out a pack of band-aids. They're not quite the horror movie villains they made out to be. 